Welcome to this special release event for ProPresenter 7.8. These events are quickly becoming a joy of mine since it means seeing all of your comments afterward of what you're most excited about. Something that I've really loved seeing throughout the past year is that on our social channels and online communities, we'll have people talk about a specific feature they'd like to have in ProPresenter or even show off a hack of them using uh, and figuring out a way to do what they want to do in ProPresenter. And so then our team will come back and say, okay, this is really cool and we want to empower people to do these things that they already want to do within our software. Sometimes it's a small change to the UI to make operating easier or faster. Sometimes it's a feature that will improve the operator's workflow. There's been times where a feature request has impacted people on stage and even times when one has impacted the people at home. These features are all made possible by and for our users who are part of ProPresenter Plus. Over the past two years, we've made a significant departure to the old way of developing features and holding them back from release for multiple years. And so I want to take a moment for Greg Dolezal, one of the partners here at Renewed Vision, to speak into how ProPresenter Plus has made an impact on our development cycle and releases and what that means for our future for you as well. Hey everybody, welcome to the Renewed Vision office. I want to take just a second to talk about ProPresenter Plus. ProPresenter Plus is a radical shift for us in how we develop software. If you've been around ProPresenter for a minute, you know that we used to develop ProPresenter on a cadence where we would develop software, do a big release, work on something for two years, three years, do a big release. And the net net of that was that you would receive software updates, say in version six, that might have been something that we worked on 18 months ago. And our desire is to get functionality into your hands faster. We've got a really robust community that you're a part of. And so we wanted to shorten that feedback loop. So we wanted to be able to get feature requests in, work on it with our development team, and then release those to you in a much shorter time frame. And we started 2020 when we released ProPresenter 7, endeavoring to have consistent updates that focused not only on new features, but also focused on bug fixes and fixing things that you discovered as you work through the software. And we're happy to report that we've been able to do that. It was an experiment of sorts, but we have had eight maintenance updates in less than 20, I'm sorry, eight feature updates in less than 24 months. And those feature updates include things like RTMP streaming, Resi streaming, custom uh, macros, custom clear commands, gradient fill, scrolling text, you probably don't use all of these features, but our hope is that you use some of these features. And while we've had a lot of our development team focusing on that new functionality, we've also focused on uh, having these maintenance releases that, again, increase the feedback loop of getting reports from you and then delivering those reports as bug fixes in the form of maintenance updates. And we've had 21 of those maintenance updates in the last 23 months. And so we love you all being part of this community. We are thrilled with the progress of ProPresenter Plus. We think it's a tremendous value. You know, for a single user license, it costs less than one cup of coffee a week for you to have the latest and greatest. Uh, for if you are on a campus license, it costs you about one cup of the coffee that Cody drinks a week. It's a little bit more expensive coffee that he drinks. But we think that's tremendous value for the thing that your audience or your congregation looks at every single week. And so we're gonna continue working towards shortening that feedback loop would love to encourage you to stay engaged in the community not only with things that you run into in the software that maybe may need to be tweaked and improved but also ideas that you have for future updates you're about to see a couple things today that we think are going to revolutionize the way that you interact with our software and we're so excited for it so back to you thanks to ProPresenter plus we get to have this event today and we have two major feature additions coming to ProPresenter that we're going to talk about as we go through these features, feel free to comment with questions or with your excitement, as all of that helps us to look back and discover how something may impact you. In some previous versions of ProPresenter, we had users who would output ProPresenter to multiple screens using multiple different computers. In ProPresenter 6, this was necessary for those wanting additional outputs, since the software only supported one audience screen and stage screen per computer. ProPresenter 7, of course, changed the game by making it so organizations of all sizes could output multiple screens without needing additional computers. Previously, you had a master computer and then multiple computers that would follow that main computer. That isn't a completely true redundant system as only one computer would lead the slide triggering. While ProPresenter 7 handles alternate outputs and screens in such a way that a majority of users may only ever need one computer, we know it's valuable for those who want to use multiple devices across their building to output from. But as we thought through this feature set, 
We didn't want to just stop there because there's so much more that we know users could benefit from this one being built out in the right way. So as a big first step in this feature set for ProPresenter, we are introducing true redundancy with Network Link. For this first version of Network Link, you'll be able to trigger slides from any of the computers that are in your Network Link group. That means you can have multiple computers connected and on each computer have the same playlist, but the slides might have their own styles of content or different images or even videos. As you click through your slides on any one of the connected computers, every other computer will advance through slides as well. It's a great way to gain multiple extra screen outputs without needing one ultra powerful computer, but it's also a great way to have a redundant setup in case one of your computer setups fail. Let's look at how this works in practice. I have a Mac and a PC in front of me, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and join the link group here with my PC. I already had this information pre-filled from earlier when I was setting up, and I'll go ahead and click continue. And then um, I can create a group name if I hadn't already. And that puts me in this group here with uh, my PC and my Mac together. So one of the most common use cases you could see Network Link being used for is to trigger slides from one computer that is outputting for your in-person audience and have it control slides on another computer that it formatted for an online audience. Let's go ahead and assume the Windows computer is being used for a live stream for my organization. And I can format these slides any way that I'd like as long as they retain their same slide number and presentation order within the playlist. Any slide I trigger on my Mac will automatically trigger the corresponding presentation and slide on my PC. But I have slides that are on my Mac that are um, full screen, they have graphics, all of that, and then on my PC, they're more made to look with the, like, the lower thirds so that they look correct for a live stream. This could also be really useful if you need to output specific graphics and videos that are of normal resolution for something like an LED wall. One computer could have normal 16x9 style slides, while another computer could have slides that are unique in creation and size for an LED wall. I love that I can now jump over to my PC and control the Mac without having to change any settings or make it the lead computer. That makes this a truly redundant setup for me as I can keep going at a moment's notice without first having to change settings on another computer. While you may not have been one of those that used this functionality in ProPresenter 6 or earlier, there are certainly some large use cases now that exist that they really weren't as prominent before that I can see driving many organizations to use this functionality. Live streaming different graphics and videos or even text um, from what you might be showing in person to online and having that be different content being driven by different computers, but having one computer drive all of that, creating slides that are uniquely sized to LED wall outputs, or even just to gain some additional screen outputs uh, from computers that aren't in the same area in your building. We believe this new take on triggering slides from different computers will empower you to display your content in more unique ways through the ever-changing needs of your productions. We also have two really neat functions that will be coming soon to Network Link for the first time ever, of course, and we wanted to mention them. One is the ability to have a frame accurate sync so that when one computer triggers a slide, every other computer outputs that slide change at the same perceivable time. Now, right now it's, it's very close to that, but we, we're making some progress to make that even more possible in the future. The other is that we'll soon have the ability to join a network through auto discovery instead of needing to enter an IP address manually. I'm excited to see how triggering slides with Network Link can solve existing or future needs for your organization, but there's also another feature that we're talking about today that I'm really excited about, and that is Multitrax Search. Today we get to introduce a new option for Lyric Search within ProPresenter. We know our users want a reliable search option for importing lyrics from an online database, and this is that. Not only will Multitrack Search enable a new library to import lyrics from, but it also introduces one of the single most requested features related to chords. Previously in ProPresenter, you could import chords manually. However, they weren't aligned to the word or character corresponding to that chord. Now with Multitrack Search, chords can automatically import with lyrics and be shown on a stage screen. Not only that, but the chords that import will also be character accurate and display above the characters and words that correspond to that chord. All of this, of course, is really neat, but I think my personal favorite part is that when Multitrack's lyrics are imported, they can be used in conjunction with their playback app for backing tracks to automatically advance slides as the backing tracks play through the songs. 
With playback, many of the top songs already have pre-made MIDI cues developed that don't require any programming from you as the operator, worship leader, or musician. This eliminates hours and hours that many worship leaders or musicians spend programming out MIDI notes in complicated software like Ableton each week. Once set up, I'll hit play in playback and watch a song automatically advance across my screen outputs, including the lyrics and chords on my stage screen. With this new functionality, you have the option to import lyrics and chords, use the automation functions, or simply just import lyrics if you're looking for a new lyrics database. So for those of you watching who don't know what backing tracks are or who the company Multitrax is, we've invited them here to talk just a little bit about what they do and how this new search option in ProPresenter can work in your setup. Since our first day in 2006, Multitracks.com have been obsessed around creating resources that save worship leaders time so they can focus on the things that really matter. It's that single drive that has enabled us to bring together a suite of resources that we call the Connected Stage. Right at the middle of the Connected Stage is an app for iOS and Mac called Playback. And Playback allows you to lead worship while utilizing tracks from original master recordings. You can quite simply take the band from Elevation Worship and mix some of their instruments in with your live instruments to complete your sound as you lead worship. Playback will allow you to change the arrangement, the mix, the key, the tempo, as well as access to a pad player and some really high level production tools to keep your entire service together and in sync. Part of the connected stage and driven by Playback is another app called Chart Builder. Chart Builder gives you access to thousands of chord charts, enables you to change the way that you view them, change the language, change the key, change the capo position. And then playback will keep the relevant part of that chord chart in front of you at all times so that your band are always on the same page as you lead worship together. But also inside a chart builder is rehearsal notes so that you can practice your part midweek before you arrive on Sunday. A little while ago, we introduced Chart Pro, which gave you unlimited access to our entire catalog inside a chart builder, as well as the ability to print and download PDFs from our website. And as of today, you can now do lyric import inside of ProPresenter 2. We're really excited about the opportunity to partner with the team at Renewed Vision as we share that core DNA around making worship leaders' lives easier. If you take the ProPresenter add-on to Chart Pro, you can download pre-formatted ProPresenter slides in one, two, or four line templates and change the key of the stage display right there inside of the app. This really is incredible new feature for ProPresenter. We're super excited to save you even more time as we continue to innovate around that desire to free you up so that you can lead worship with excellence. Take care, God bless. So to show off this functionality, let's look at my computer. I'll go into my search and select the multitracks.com icon. I'm gonna go ahead and search for All Hell King Jesus. And then on the import window, I've got the option to select how many lines of text I'd like per slide and whether I want chords plus which key to put the song in. Of course, I have all of my other typical import settings like theme and where to import the lyrics to as well. With that imported, I'm going to go ahead and enable this new stage screen layout that's included with ProPresenter 7.8. That way you can see chords as we advance through them. You'll see now that as I advance through my slides, my stage screen show lyrics and chords with the chords in the correct place. Now if I want to change the key of the song, I can hit the key button here on the songs header and select which key and it will adjust that for me and show correctly on the stage screen. I'm also capturing the playback interface from my Mac right now because I have playback running on Mac. They also make it for iPad as well and iOS. And so uh, when I click play here, you can see that it automatically advances the slides for me. Multitrex has some existing tutorials showing how to use their current products and set up MIDI. And we of course will have tutorials covering all of this new functionality as well. We have a great new ProPresenter theme now available called Golden Ticket, and it is available from ProPresenter.com slash free. Plus, we also have a motion pack called The Boat Ride, and if you've ever watched Willy Wonka and then you go and watch some of these, I think you'll understand why we call it that. These are now available for ProPresenter Plus users. Today, we've introduced the ability to trigger slides from a computer, and the same slides be triggered on other computers connected to its link group. 
This opens up many opportunities for additional screen outputs and even true redundancy. We've also introduced multi-track search to provide a new library to import from with a reliable search experience, the ability to import chords with your lyrics, and even a huge time saver with pre-made automation coming from multi-tracks playback. This update will be available soon as a beta for you to get your hands on and a test out, and the final public release will also be available for everyone who has ProPresenter Plus as of today. I hope you've enjoyed learning what we've been working on, and I can't wait to see how these new functions of ProPresenter allow you to share the greatest stories ever told.